All right, <clears throat> for this crankshaft, I cleaned out where all the oil galleys are. So what I did, just from what I've watched and learned, is you just, I took air hoses and went all the way down from the top. Boom, boom. <clears throat> all the way, every hole I went through, blew it out. Then what I did, just I, my own idea is I took brake cleaner, push it in there with high pressure, you know, with obviously the brake cleaner with a little, like, tube, like a little nozzle thing that goes on it, whoosh, I sprayed it out, then I took the air hose, whoosh, blew that out, brake cleaner, whoosh, air hose, whoosh, brake cleaner, whoosh, whoosh, and I just kept doing that to all the holes around, and as I went down, and then I just kind of sprayed it off. <clears throat> so that's kind of what I did. Um, how I cleaned it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is get the bore diameters of the caps of the crank. Um, already took the diameter of the, the caps, where the caps go and where the connecting rods are. already took all the diameters down it's there and i gotta do all the bores and figure out the clearances so first i have to put on the bearings to the cap in each place torque them down and um and then get the, the bore measurement off that so that's what i'm gonna do Okay guys, so <clears throat> I got the crank in. Uh, it's not fully tightened down yet, but one, one thing, I want, a couple things I want to go over. I didn't video it because I was trying to keep the journals clean of lint and I couldn't video it at the same time. So <clears throat> what I did is I had the crank here. The top side, I just dusted it off with my fingers, whatever dust was on there. And then <clears throat> the bottom part, the block side where the bearing goes, I took my dry pinky and then took any dust off and then I put the the grease. Did that through all five, boom. But here when I dusted off the top of the journal here, when I went to put it on, I flipped it, I lifted it up and flipped it around so that clean side is on the top. Okay, so whatever dust it collected while I was doing this, that's just me being extra picky. But <clears throat> another thing too is when I ran across some issues, you know, this is all my first time doing this, is that sometimes these bolts didn't want to go in. That's because the cap and the block didn't quite line up. So once you feel any type of toughness, take both bolts out. This is what I did. I took the cap back off. Okay, then I set the cap, you know, on, but it doesn't go all the way in until you bang it in. But then I started the threads about four or five turns. Then I got my little rubber mallet. After I started the threads, then I got my rubber mallet to hit it in, and then tested to make sure, and then tested to make sure the threads go. <clears throat> That's what I did. So um, I just kind of wanted to go over that, and when I do. These guys, I'm gonna make sure the journals are clean. And also on that, before I stick the pistons in, it's gonna be fun. Anyway, I gotta get these things torqued down um, and make sure everything turns. All right. All right, guys, got them torqued down. For some reason, me personally, where I was finding some different um, information on torque specs, this is a 2009 block. Uh, 5.7 the most consistent from the manual figured it out um, is 20 pounds it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you go 90 degrees same pattern one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
<clears throat> That's it. It kind of goes in a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty first. Then ninety degrees. Some places they even had they said twenty eight pounds plus ninety degrees. I don't know. Pretty confusing. So now I got to do these little side bolts, the other main cap bolts on the side. Get those torqued down. Spins, spins free, free. I believe the same mistake I made with these the caps is what I did with the first set of heads when I dipped the head bolts in oil, <clears throat> which is over time is going to lose its clamping force because the oil will leak out <clears throat> and it won't have the same clamping force as it did when I torqued it because it creates a um, a hydraulic a pressure a hydraulic pressure because there's fluid pressure in there so it tells the the torque wrench or hey, it's torqued down and then you angle it right <clears throat> um so you'd be a little bit behind the cart so going back in some of the videos i didn't really show that part so i can't remember if i did it but i'm pretty sure i did um so i'm gonna have to take them all off i'm gonna take them all off and re clean up <clears throat> Clean out inside there, make sure there's not a, a bunch of oil in there. Um, so, but anyway, what I want to talk about here is I had, the, when I put this on, I had to borrow one from somebody, but the length of this, right? So that's a deep socket, that's a 15. And then you have, then you have this deep socket, right? It doesn't quite fit, gets a little bit of it, right? Can get in there a little bit but it doesn't quite go down right see because this part right here is the problem even if i use let's see the <clears throat> half inch drive I mean, this is it right here even if i use this this is actually can, I mean, it's still the same length, but it doesn't fit because if you look inside there where the stop is, there's like a little ledge in there, right? So I had to make sure I got one <laughs> that was able to go deep, didn't have like a stopping ledge so soon. So it goes down and completely torques. Anyway, but I just wanted to touch that. So I'm going to take these off and the pattern that they said is I'm going to take like I'll loosen them all up and I'll take the, the middle cap off clean out the, the the oil and I'll put the cap on <clears throat> so it's not exposed to any dust and then I'll kind of just go this one this one this one this one this one and work that way okay so how I'm trying to get the oil out is I already did this one um because I'm using like dry fit material because it doesn't have doesn't release any fibers in the air but what i did is i uh, just i tried different things sticking them in there but here let me go ahead and put those where they go dang it So we'll go right left. Okay. Um, right left. All right. Um, anyway, so I tried different things. I tried using what I used to measure my rod, stick it in there, but I couldn't get the fabric to twist with the grooves so you can get them stuck out of the grooves. So I put it on my little hanger thing that I use to do my um, cam degree timing. And I wrapped the dry fit material that I use to clean, like the final cleaning on surfaces with alcohol. I use this. I'm just twisting it in there and just twisting. And so the material twists in the grooves too, takes any oil out at the bottom. And well, that's what I'm using. And it'll look, I don't know if I can get. I kind of have to use two hands. 
have to be gentle so that it doesn't poke through the so the hanger doesn't poke through and then I just kind of twist this around and make that tight and then just kind of yeah I usually have to hold the two you know, just kind of go like that making sure I'm all the way down just kind of rotating this letting it twist and I kind of pull it out and see if there's a lot of oil on it or not which some of them did have a little puddle at the bottom and some one did one didn't so I feel like I did use a little bit of oil but I don't think I dipped the whole thing in like I did the heads but then since after I've the original torque down take them off then I torque them down again um, I just went ahead and got some new main cap bolts um, all new ones and so again I'm just gonna take them all off <clears throat> and I'm getting new these ones are definitely a torque to yield okay so these ones you have to replace every time and I didn't do it so ordered to, I have some of those um, the main cap bolts himself um, you can reuse as long as the threads don't look like they're distorted in any way um, but I didn't look at them before I installed them and <clears throat> I don't want to take the chance I mean you're talking about I spent like 20 bucks on a set so since I was gonna come back down here and redo the the cross ones I might as well just just redo these ones too so I'm just doing in the reverse pattern of the Titan you know, I cracked all of them, cracked them loose, and then I went back through and then I loosened them all completely in the same pattern again. And then now I'm going in the same pattern as far as center. Um, replaced the center bolts already. I haven't tightened them yet though. The center bolts, outside bolts, <clears throat> these ones, those ones, those ones. I'm gonna keep following that pattern through the whole installation. Um, when I get all these down, um, snug down then I'll go ahead and take um, these off and put in and um, then torque then I'm gonna torque these down and then put the new ones on, on the side or yeah get all these down and then put those ones in so so I'm gonna have all new bolts on the caps so we have no issues there we go